Number 70. Determine whether aqueous solutions of the following salts are acidic, basic, or neutral, and then we have potassium carbonate. So, in this case, we have to just figure out whether K2CO3 is acidic, basic, or neutral. Now remember, salts is just another way of saying an ionic compound, right? So there's both positive and negative things going on here. In order to find out whether it's acidic, basic, or neutral, the first step is, is to break this up into its ions. So we got to know where the break is. But we've seen carbonate all the time, right, throughout this whole chemistry journey. They always stay together. So the break has to be between the metal, potassium, and the carbonate. Potassium is group one, so that's always a plus one. And carbonate is a polyatomic ion who always has a negative two charge. The next thing is to remember that these are always going to be in aqueous solutions, which means that it's going to be with water. And water is always made up by hydronium, H, with a uh, hydroxide, right? And remember, hydronium is positive and hydroxide is negative. So opposites attract. The positive H will hook up with the negative carbonate. And the negative hydroxide always goes with the positive potassium. So just know that your OHs always goes in the front, the Hs go in the back. So let's make those compounds. So the K will be with the hydroxide KOH. And then if we wanted to actually make the correct compound, it doesn't really matter if your compound is correct here. It just has to have the similar elements. But in this case, it would be carbonic acid H2CO3. Now we talk about these. So let's talk about KOH first. I say to myself, is potassium hydroxide a strong acid or a strong base? Is it one of my six strong acids or strong bases? And yeah, it is. It's a strong base. It's right here. So I'm going to put that down. SB, strong base. Anytime that you have a strong base, the conjugate is so, 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 so weak that it's basically deemed neutral. So anytime that you form a strong base, the conjugate in which you came from is classified as neutral. And since it's neutral, I will kind of exit this out because it has nothing to do with acidic nor basic properties. Now we do the same thing for this one. H2CO3 is carbonic acid. H2CO3, a strong acid. Mm, I'm looking at this and it's not on there. So any acids that are not part of your strong acids is classified as a weak acid. But it's acidic nonetheless. So WA, weak acid. And weak acids, their conjugates are going to be actually weak bases, but it's basic nonetheless. So this weak acid will produce a conjugate that is weak, but it's basic. And I will not cancel this one out because it actually has basicity to it. So now you just combine the two together. If you have a neutral component and a basic component, the whole salt would be basic. And that's it. So potassium carbonate, K2CO3, is basic. And that's it. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Um... Yeah, let's keep rock and rolling. Good luck on your tests, and I will see you later. Okay, bye-bye.